Chapter 8. Riddle Solved. Now, only the moon shone on the snow. Jack looked around for the polar bear. She was gone. Where'd she go? asked Annie. I don't know, said Jack. He looked over the tundra. There was no sign of the giant bear or her cubs. Maybe she's not interested in scientific reasons, Jack said. Annie sighed. She took off her bear mask and handed it to Jack. He put both their masks in his pack. Now what? asked Annie. They looked around. The vast fields of snow ended in darkness. Jack had no idea where they were. He shrugged. I guess we just have to walk and hope for the best. Wait, listen, said Annie. From the distance came howling sounds. They grew louder and louder. Yay, we don't have to wait long, said Annie. The huskies are coming. Howling filled the night as the dog sled came into view. The seal hunter was running beside it. We're here, over here, called Jack. He ran toward the sled. Annie followed. I was afraid you were lost, said the seal hunter. We were, said Annie, and we got stuck on thin ice, too. But a polar bear helped us. Yeah, said Jack, and we wore your masks, and they made us feel like bears. Yeah, the masks made us brave, said Annie. She caught her breath. Oh, man, wait, said Jack. Annie's words sounded familiar. He took out his notebook and read Morgan's riddle aloud. I cover what's real and hide what's true, but sometimes I bring out the courage in you. What am I? A mask, Jack and Annie said together. The seal hunter smiled. You knew, said Annie. It was for you to discover, said the seal hunter, not me. Jack pulled the bear masks out of his backpack. Here, he said, thanks a lot. The hunter took the masks and put them inside his parka. We can go home now, said Jack. Do, do you mind taking us back to the treehouse, said Annie. The seal hunter shook his head. Climb on, he said. Jack and Annie climbed onto the dog sled. Mush, said the seal hunter. Mush, said Annie. Mush, said Jack. The snow began to fall as they took off across the dark ice.